want to see people come off a pill. The streets is one big lie. The Bible says that we are ignorant, we are alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in us. The ignorance, look at this last year, 560 something homicides. Philadelphia, the city of brotherly blood. It used to be Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Now it's the city of brotherly blood. I'm telling you this today. When it all start collapsing, don't say where is God. Don't say where is this hat. Why is this happening to me? Because you're you're working for the devil. God ain't giving you none of that money. That's from Satan. That's Satan's money. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. You're working for Satan. God ain't blessing you with that. Talk about this is the, this God blessing me. That ain't God's blessing. God doesn't operate in darkness. That's the devil. You work for the devil. That's the devil. It ain't God. Crack and pills and syrup and all this stuff. Getting getting uh, rich off this stuff. Talking about God is blessing me. No, you work for the devil. Get saved this day. Get saved this day. God is not mocked. And listen, one thing about me, I'm not ashamed of my past. Yes, I messed up in the past. Yes, I sold drugs in the past. Yes, I backslid. See, the devil can only try to use your past against you when you're ashamed. I tell it. I backslid a thousand times. But my father is alive and he constantly snatched me out of darkness because he is alive and he lives forevermore and he defeated death, hell, and the grave. And God says, Ryan, you don't have to hustle. You don't have to sell drugs. I will take care of you. And my God takes care of me and my wife and my children. God takes care of me. I ain't got to work for the devil and sell drugs. God has given me a wisdom. God has given me strength. God has given me a Education. God has blessed me. I work for God and God makes sure that my pockets are filled because I work for the living God and I ain't got to worry about nobody trying to kill me because I sold him some fitting oil. Y'all gonna slip up and sell somebody some fitting oil, they're gonna give you life in prison. Think it's a game. Think it's a game. Think it's a game. Don't cry. Talking about, oh, God, God, no, you said you had to take care of your family. When you get in that interrogation room, be gangster then. When you get in that interrogation room, be gangster then. When it's time to die, don't cry. Don't cry, be gangster then. God is going to break you down. When you reject the gospel of Jesus Christ. I said this three years ago. I said homicides was going to happen on this block, and they happened. Innocent bystanders, dead. Homicides after homicide. Because you know why? These are the devil's streets. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them that don't believe in Jesus Christ. It's the God of this world. You work for the God of this world. You need to get on the living and true God's side. You need to come to him, the one that can save you, the one that can help you, the one that can bless you and don't bring no sorrow to it. God's blessing bring peace. God's blessings bring joy. God's blessings bring strength. God's blessings brings deliverance. Those cigarettes, they're going to take your lungs out. Those pills, they change the chemistry of your mind. The drug money, the drug money, the dirty money, that murder money, the devil is coming back for his payment. You think you're going to pile up money and not pay the devil back for, for all of that money he gave you? The day is coming. Payday is coming. God is saying repent, repent, repent. Come to me. Leave the streets. Leave the streets. The streets are going to leave you messed up, broke, busted, and disgusted. God says, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my burden upon you and learn of me. Jesus 
Christ wants you to learn of him. Jesus Christ wants you to be free in your spirit. You ain't got to wake up and serve the streets. You ain't got to wake up and serve pills. You ain't got to wake up and be a slave to marijuana. You ain't got to wake up and carry guns and worry about what car is turning the corner. And if who that in that car? Who this? Who that? Who that? You ain't got to live that life. God wants to give you peace. That peace that passeth all understanding. And I'm so happy today that I live today by the power of the living God. I live today free from the bondage of pills. I live today free from the bondage of marijuana. I live today free from the bondage of carrying guns. I live today free from the bondage of fornication. I live today free from the bondage of drinking beer. I live today free from the bondage of popping pills and drinking syrup and chasing the streets. I'm free by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm so happy that God set me free. I got a new life in Jesus Christ. I got joy in Jesus Christ. I got peace in Jesus Christ. I got joy, love, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Ghost. And I'm so happy that I'm free. I'm free from drugs. I'm free from bondage. I'm free from backbiting. I'm free from slandering. I'm free from getting caught up in the streets. I'm free from somebody setting me up because I robbed them. I'm free from the streets. I'm free. The streets is bondage. You know what? Now I can say that I truly hate the streets. I hate the devil. At one time, I couldn't say I hated the streets. At one time, I wanted the streets and I wanted God at the same time. But right now, I can truly say that I hate the streets. I hate the lie of the streets. I hate demons. I hate devils. I hate drugs. I hate fornication. I hate pills. I hate drug dealing. I don't hate drug dealers, but I hate drug dealing. I hate the streets. I hate the streets. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm set free from the power and the bondage of sin. Thank you, Jesus, that I don't serve the deli no more. I remember being a slave to the deli. I remember having to drink to feel normal. I remember having to pop pills to feel normal. I remember having to smoke weed to feel normal. I remember having to carry guns to feel safe. But now, Jesus Christ is my protection. I don't need pills. I don't need weed. Remember when the weed would wear off, I would get agitated because I needed more weed. I needed to smoke weed. At one time, I was smoking two to three hundred dollars worth of sour diesel a day. But now, I don't need that because I got the living God living inside of me. He set me free from the streets and now I can walk in joy. I can walk in peace. I can walk in the Holy Ghost. I don't need that stuff to make me feel good. All I gotta get up and know is that Jesus Christ is alive and he lives to make intercession for me. Jesus Christ is alive and I am well in him. I am wrapped up, tied up. I'm tangled up in Jesus Christ. I don't need that stuff to make me feel joy. I don't need that stuff to make me feel peace. I don't need a bunch of people around me to make me feel welcomed, to make me feel accepted. I just need the right people around me. I don't need a crowd of people to serve God. I don't need a crowd of people to feel important. I don't need the streets. I don't need the streets. I don't need drugs because Jesus, he is my joy. Weed ain't my peace. Weed ain't my joy. Pills ain't my peace. Pills ain't my joy. Sex ain't my joy. Listen, listen. I get a lot of joy from being around my wife, but she is not the source of my joy. Jesus Christ is the source of my joy. Come to Jesus and be set free. The pills is going
going to destroy you. Some of y'all going to pop some pit fentanyl. Some of y'all going to pop some fentanyl and not going to wake up. You think it's a game out here. The devil got a hit on you. The forces of Satan got a hit on you. Some of you got demons attached to your life. Some of you got devils attached to your life. Why can't I get off of this crack? Why can't I put this pill down? Because you got demons speaking to your mind. And every time they speak to your mind, you give heed. But the Bible says, greater is he that's within me than he that is in the world. Even if a demon speak to my mind, even if my body want to fornicate, even if my body get tempted, even if my mind say, oh, the streets was fun, even if my body have a flashback about another woman, even though I'm married, the Holy Spirit rises up in me and he says, Rod, I've set you free from the bondage of Satan. I've set you free. I got joy unspeakable, joy full of glory. No 15, no 30, no 602, no bill, no 20, no 10, no school bus, nothing can give me this kind of joy that Jesus gives me. He's always around. He never let me down. The streets will let you down. The streets will kill you. And we will be right there to pray for you, to pray you through, and to tell you to come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Why you got life? Why you got life in your body? I did a lot of bad things too, my brother. Open your hands up. Father, listen, you got to open up to Jesus. You can't play games with Jesus. You know, ah, I'm glad you give me a hug. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, touch Carl. Touch Carl. You got to get your heart to Jesus. You hear me? You got to get your heart to Jesus. I said baptism can't save you. You got to repent and turn your life over to Jesus Christ. And then once you have given your life and your faith to Jesus Christ, then by your baptism, you're saying, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to announce my conversion to the world. Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver him from the deli. Deliver him from drugs and alcohol and generational strongholds and all those demons that had his, his family members, Lord. Deliver him. He sat here crying. While I preach your word, God, obviously the foul ground is being broken up in the name of Jesus Christ. It don't matter how old you are, because you can be born again. You got to mean business with God. You got to be serious with God. You can't play with these streets. These streets going to kill you. Alcohol going to kill you. Alcohol will eat your liver up, eat your stomach up, eat your intestines up. Alcohol will take you out early. It ain't no joke. It will kill you. But God God is drawing you right now to him today, Brother Carl. And he's saying, just open up your Bible and get real with God. Get real, get real, get real with God. Hey, go. Go, God. You got to separate from this environment. That's your only hope. You hear me? The environment. The environment is full of demons. The environment is full of demons. The environment is full of demons. That's why when we come out here, you feel peace for that little bit of time we're out here. The environment is full of demons. That's why murdering and drugs and all of that stuff take place on this block because people work and live for demons. Demons are in this environment. The environment is filled with demons. And every time God squeezes you, to those of you that listen to the word, every time something bad happens in your occupation as a dealer, every time something bad happens, you're going to think about the word of God. You're going to think about everything I said, and God is going to constantly break you. That's what he had to do to me. He had to break me. 
And how did he do that? He allowed the streets to have their way and demons and devils to have their way in my life. That's how God breaks some of us because some of us grew up in households, households that, are, that, are, that were bound by stubborn demons. Those demons of pride to say, I'm going to live how I want to live and God going to accept me like this and I'm still going to go to heaven. No matter how much time God speak to me, I'm going to live how I want to live. That's a stubborn, self-willed spirit. And people that live like that, God doesn't chastise them himself. The chastisement is God turns us over to the enemy. And the devil beats us down so much we have no other chance. We have no other choice but to cry out to God. We love this block. We are praying vehemently for this block. That the next time we come down here, we don't hear about no shooting or no one pass away. And we always complain about the cops. The reason why the cops are on the corner is because we can't police ourselves. Hey, brother. Be safe, man. Love you, man. We always talk about the law. God gave us the law because man's heart is wicked. The law points to the fact that we can't keep it. That's what the law does. It points to the fact that we need God. And to those of you, to those of you that say, I don't need Jesus, I got a religion. Well, your religion can't deliver you from drugs and streets. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Why do I need Jesus? Because none of us are good enough. I don't need to go through Jesus to get to God. Well, how is that working out for you? We love you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, touch Brother Carl as he sat and listened to the word. And see, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word go forth, Lord. Let it break up demonic activity on this block. Let it break up the follow ground on the hearts. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind and rebuke every spirit, every demon, every uh, worker of witchcraft. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, you see, that's a classic example of when you run into people on the streets and they're in bondage and you're trying to witness to them and minister to them. The first thing they say is, I got baptized. You can't get baptized and live like the devil. Baptism doesn't save you. Because if the, is that the case? then we can just all get baptized and go live how we want to live. You get saved first. And, you're, and, and you get saved first. And the bapti baptism announces to the world that I am buried with Christ. And now I'm going to live a new life with Christ. And that's why Philip said to the eunuch, when, Philip, when the eunuch said to Philip, he says, uh, what's stopping me from being baptized? There's a lot of water here. What did Philip say to him? People leave this part out and I'm done right here. Philip said to him, only if you believe with your whole heart, right? Philip saying, only if you're true to God, only if your conversion is real, only if you're serious about this thing, will I baptize you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, touch this block. Touch all of my family and friends, Lord. We come, we do not negotiate with demons. I don't negotiate with drug, drugs and alcohol. All of that stuff almost killed me. I am speaking from experience. I do not speak nothing hypothetically. I start selling crack at the age of 13. I know what it's like to carry guns, to rob people, to be addicted to drugs and pills and all of that stuff. It's a big lie. You're living a lie. You're not happy. You're empty. God wants to fill you. Father, in Jesus Christ's name, let your word go forth like a mighty hammer. It's not my word like a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rocks in pieces. Burn it up and break it up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.